what made you take a trade in the middle of the range um it's something that we, st we started sampling this like a couple months ago but we started taking these setups for the last i think month and a half so far it's just like understand that no matter where price goes it's gonna tap 2041 first not 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 because we're staying out with the motion all right don't get that twisted we're staying out with tentacles that's all that we did today all we did today was say where have you rejected in the past that's that's the first thing i asked you guys today i asked i asked us like where are the levels that we could reject that so all i did was look left i took our rectangle tool and i marked up the levels i marked up minor levels here minor levels here um minor levels here my levels here, my levels here of rejections, right? And you're going to see for the most part, as long as you don't tap into that overall range, that's a level you're going to tap into before doing anything else, because those are the levels where you reject that in the past price has rejected these levels, but at least every time it only rejected after tapping the level, there was never a time where it rejected and it didn't tap the level. And something that we use as well was if you go on the daily, you're going to see the daily as well. The daily showed us that we broke back into the range. So on top of that, you had you're, you're coming off of a bullish structure because you're breaking back into this range. Looking left, you have clean traffic till here. So this is the overall direction on price day where that's what we broke down earlier today. And the rest was just looking left to see the levels you reject in the past. I understand that you can get buys up until those levels. So for me today, with the way that structure was being printed, you didn't need a bond wick. You didn't need to wait for liquidity. You didn't wait for you didn't need to wait for any of that. All you need to do was just enter. And based off the fact that looking left, you have a clean traffic until a certain target. And that's where we want to manage us off of. Obviously, your stops got to be below a certain range, which in this case, the four are lows, right? But that was it. That was the main idea today. Because no matter where price goes, after 9 and 4 9, it had to tap into 2039, 2040 first, right? Or my bad, 2035, 2036, which was our break even point. So by the time price tapped it, we moved stops to break even, and the rest is up to price. Because that was a minor level, and at that minor level, anything can happen. You could reject, you could continue to push. I don't know, but our job, our job is done, right? We took advantage of that pull push, and we moved stocks to break even, and the rest was just up to price. In this case, it's just pop. And we got lucky too. We didn't get lucky, but we survived the the bond wick. I'll say so. That was that was a plus too. We came very close, but the stick man, the stick man saved us today.